Yeah, he's doing some great work, isn't he? Well done to uh, Brody. I'm sure he's uh, tuned in and uh, watching. Now, uh, last night we had the story of the Cat Rescue Centre in Lincolnshire, which is having to close its doors to new pets because it can't cope with the demand. The Lynx, Ark, Cat, Kitten and Rabbit Rescue Centre says it's completely full and can't care for any more abandoned animals. They're urging owners to get their cats neutered. All rescues are full. We're tired. We work long hours, we don't get paid, but we have many, many requests to take all these in and we just cannot do it. There are so many kittens out there to find homes for them, it's difficult. A lot of people were quite uh, angry when they'd seen that, people who wrote to me. And after watching the programme last night, Sarah Atkinson, the founder of the Yorkshire Cat Rescue, got in touch. I'm delighted to say she's here with us now. Uh, Sarah, good evening to you. Good, good to evening. See you. Why you. do you think that the cat rescue centres just can't cope at the moment? There's been a massive explosion in the number of cats out there um, for a number of reasons. And there are, there's always been too many cats, but there are now far too many cats. Um, the cost of living has, has, has impacted, the cost of neutering has spiralled and there just literally are not enough homes for all the cats out there. Is, is saying cost of living and Covid, is, is that just a weak excuse? Because if you were a real animal lover, cat lover, you still wouldn't be able to do it, would you? Real animal lovers exist in many forms. Money is a factor for many people. Um, yes, if you're going to get a cat and you plan it, you will put money aside to spay your cat. But the costs have gone up from around £100 for a spay, a female spay, to nearly £200 in some cases in two or three years. During the pandemic, there was a period when vets couldn't neuter, they were only allowed to do emergency operations. And so a lot of cats weren't neutered and they bred. They can have three, four, even five litters a year. But for those, I'll come back to that in a yeah. moment, for these people who are abandoning their cats or are taken to rescue centres, even if they've not got the cat neutered, they still are not cat lovers if they, if they want to take them back. That's the, bit, that's the bit that people don't understand. They are cat lovers, but if your cat's had kittens and then more kittens and you've suddenly got eight, ten, 20 cats, which you can get within a year or two of one cat. You are a cat lover, but you, you simply can't cope. You, on, on the subject of, of neutering, you want the, the government to um, intervene here. Mm. What do you want them to do? I want them to either reduce the cost or make some money available for this. Neutering in this country that's not done by individuals is done by cat rescues, which are small, usually volunteer-led organisations, which as well as having to rescue the cats, have to fundraise to pay to rescue the cats. There are, there are groups in every town and city in the country, but there's no central support for it. You can't even get money from, for example, the National Lottery to help with animal costs, and, and you should be able to. J just to uh, preempt what some people watching will be saying is, if you if you can't afford that, then you sh you shouldn't have got a cat in the first place. Is that too harsh? It is because cats can live for twenty years. My cat's nineteen. I couldn't have told you 19 years ago what situation I would be in yeah. now. Yeah. You might get a cat, you might be well and healthy, have a job, having an income, that could change. You know, and, and actually cats and pets are fantastic companions. They're called companion animals and they give comfort and companionship to people. It's, it's not fair to deprive people. It, is it true that they, they're, they're culling cats in Australia because there's too many? I'm told that's the case, yeah. I think if cats are out or, or, at night, then they cull them. And that's because they're attacking the wildlife, the indigenous wildlife. We could get to that position. It scares me that we might because there are so many cats and none of us want you that. You could never see that happening in this country though, can I you? I would hope not, but who knows? I mean, there really are that many unwanted, un unhomeable cats because there aren't the homes available for them. And your message to the cat owners would be what? Plan if you're going to get a cat. Keep some money to one side to medicate your cat if it's ill. Don't just get a cat on impulse. Think this could be a 20-year commitment. And yes, things change, your life will change, but don't just plan and be sensible about it. Thank you for watching last night. Thank you for being in touch. You're Thank very you for welcome. coming in. Nice very to welcome. see you. Thank, Thank you, you, Sarah. Now, uh,